7.2 is find the area between two curves. Okay, so there's some algebra in this section, some pretty straightforward integrals, but other than that, if you can graph a little bit. I am well graphed. Bless you. Y equals X plus one. Y intercept to one going up. I'm just going to make a sketch. And then negative x squared plus one. What's that? It's like a horseshoe. I'm going to make it x squared. Well, I guess plus one. We'll leave it. All right, so. See, it's a horseshoe. So we're trying to find the area between them. So we're trying to find that area. Okay, if you had to, you could graph it on your calculator. All right, so to do that, um, we're going to, I don't know how accurate that is. It doesn't matter. Okay, so all we need to do is find out which of the two is on top, and which one, or which one's on the bottom. Do you see that? If I did top minus bottom, the parabola would be on the top, right? Okay, so we are going to integrate the top minus the bottom. And that will give me that area. Okay, so it's like finding... Um, It's like finding <coughs> this area and then minus this area will give you that area. So if I found the area into the whole thing, minus the area into that thing, you can combine them in one integral. So now we have to find out points of intersection. Okay, so set those equal to each other. the area between these two shapes. Another parabola, another line. X equals Y squared. What's that again? Yes. Sideways parabola, right? Because you could solve, you could do plus or minus the square root, so it's Y equals the square root of X, Y equals negative square root of X, so we have a parabola. And then negative X plus two. for that area. So which one's on top? It's a trick question. Do you see that, it, like right here, this one's on top, but then it switches? Okay, so this would be an example where rather than doing top minus bottom, we would do right minus left. Okay, so if we're going to do right minus left, we're going to integrate with respect to y, because we're doing that x minus this x. Okay, so we're trying to find out what that x is. So that's y equals negative x plus 2, so we could solve for x. So x would be 2 minus y. And that one's already solved for x. So we integrate right, which is the line, right? Right. Correct. The line in terms of y is.